Hi, it's Antonio. Uh, so let's jump into this topic. Um, if I practice uh, NVC, nonviolent communication, um, or, you know, uh, compassion to communication or needs based relating, uh, right? Relating to one another on the level of needs. Um, if I practice these skills, is it going to change uh, other people? Um, and so I want to maybe just start off by saying it might not. Um, and oftentimes, I mean, I think I can speak for myself that I came into this practice of NVC, uh, maybe with that in mind, honestly, thinking that if I practice this, maybe other people are going to uh, change or do the things that I want them to do. I kind of maybe thought of it as magic in a way, um, right? I say these things, I say my observation, my feeling, my need, and my request as it's taught in nonviolent communication. If I do those things, um, other people are going to uh, change. Uh, but that might not always happen. So um, maybe I want to start off by just um, coming back to the intention as to why I practice these skills of um, connection, of closeness and understanding. My intention is that I want to have more understanding, closeness, uh, connection in my life. I want to have more compassion in my life. Um, and so... I think that really changes um, the whole idea as to whether other people are going to change or not, because it really brings it back to that I'm doing this because I want to experience more empathy, more closeness, more understanding. It doesn't really mean that other people might do that. They might not really want to engage in more closeness, communication and connection. And so that at least for me, I still have the experience of experiencing that in my life. And so even without the other person having to necessarily do something, um, that's a little maybe weird or confusing. Like, how do I still experience that uh, even though the other person doesn't want to talk, let's say, about it? Well, because I'm relating through the concept of needs. And that, for me, uh, creates more understanding. I can understand, even if somebody doesn't want to talk with me, I can still understand them and have this perspective uh, of them having needs and trying to take care of their needs. And so it changes my experience of how I'm relating in that experience, in that dynamic, in that relationship with that person. Because now I have this perspective of understanding this concept of needs. And that, for me, gives me more understanding as to why someone uh, is doing what they're doing, why they're behaving in the way that they're behaving or communicating in the way that they are. So... I kind of come back and I really like to start off this topic by having clarity as to why I practice this. I practice this because I want to experience more of these things, a connection, understanding, peace. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean other people. And it's interesting because I think back to that quote, um, be the change that you want to see. And it really speaks to me when I think of why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because of me, because I want to experience this. And maybe other people don't necessarily want to engage in uh, dialogue like this, or right? They may just not be that interested, or it might be uncomfortable, uh, whatever it might be. But at least I can still understand them, and I don't have to walk away with that resentment or with that anger, um, with that unresolvedness, right? Without being resolved myself, I I can find that by being able to be aware of my needs and I can also be aware of the other person's needs as, as well. So, and I think one of the interesting things that we sometimes say at workshops, if you've been at our workshops, is that these skills uh, may not necessarily be helpful if you're trying to get someone to do something um, that they don't want to do. Um, if you want to get someone to do something, especially if they don't want to do it, you're better off with something that, uh, you know, some type of physical item or something like that, like some type of maybe like, I guess you could call it a weapon or something. But uh, these skills are, at least for me, my understanding of them, uh, they're used to and they, they're they very useful in helping us have more understanding and more peace uh, in our lives and in our world. And at the end of the day, for me, um, that's really what I'm practicing and learning these skills for. So I hope that this was helpful. Please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thanks.